What's up guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a music tag. Oh, I'm not sure what it's called but I'm going to call it a music tag uh, to some of your videos, montages or whatever. So if I just um, build a RAM preview here, uh, you see if you look at the bottom right hand side of the preview, I'll make it full screen, click play, you will see that the little music tag comes up from the right and then goes slowly back down. So the program is going to be using, we're going to be using Photoshop and we're going to also be using Sony Vegas to edit the clips. Uh, you could use After Effects if you want, but I'm just going to be sticking with Sony Vegas. Uh, it's kind of more basic for the simple stuff. So let's crack on. The first thing we need to do is we need to actually make the tag in Photoshop. Then later on we're going to make it so it so it pops up from the bottom right or from wherever you want it to start or appear from. So if you just go ahead and go to File, New, and you want to make it the same properties as your as your movie will be in. Uh, if it's YouTube HD, it'll most likely be 1280 by 720, and that's what I recommend using. So just call it name tag. 1280 by 720 and make make sure the background content is set to transparent. So just click OK. So it's going to make the basic layout for the box. So you click and hold on the square rectangle marquee tool and just drag out roughly the right size that you want. Uh, if you now go to the zoom tool and go to actual pixels, uh, this is actually how big it will be on the on the montage on the on the, on the um, movie itself. So Maybe just increase the size a little bit and the width. Okay, so just take and then you can line it up wherever you want. You can have it top right, right in the middle if you want. But you know, I'm gonna keep it to the bottom right hand side of the corner. There we go, that's looking good. So we're just gonna maybe spice it up a bit by going to some layer style. So right click, go to blending options. Uh, I can maybe add a drop shadow. Maybe just increase the size just a little bit, add a stroke, uh, change the size to 1, and maybe just lower it to darker grey as opposed to a solid black. Uh, go to gradient overlay. Uh, if I, I want mine to be a grey, so I'm just going to go to a grey here. That's a kind of darkish grey. And then I'm going to have a lighter grey here. Now, this is a sort of cheap way how to do the gloss effect. If you bring this to the location 50, or 49 and then this down to like 50 you'll see that it's like the sort of gloss effect but it's like a square cut but you can just make them match them up a bit more it's a bit too dark in fact that's, I don't like that so the other one first one's too dark as well a lot too dark there we go that's looking good that's okay just go ahead and click OK OK um, just mess around with these settings, add whatever you like. Maybe add an inner shadow, size just a little bit. Distance maybe lower to three. Click OK. And that is about it. So just go to the text tool and we'll type, go ahead and type in our text. Um, uh, yeah. God knows what happened then. Create a new text. Uh, I'm going to type uh, what song could it be? Um, second chance. So I'm just going to highlight it all by going Control A. I'm just going to lower the size down to a 18, 30, and you can always change it later. But and go to Edit Free Transform, and then you go to Free Transform. You hold Shift to stay in proportion, but you can get it uh, to a more custom standard as opposed to the um, typing at the top. So let's hold shift again. There we go, that's looking good. And then just kind of move it in just a little bit. There we go. Then to hit control J on your keyboard, that would duplicate it. And then hold shift so it stays in alignment and drag it down. And I'll type in shine down. So the song is second chance shine down. I would have capital D just because I would just so maybe just because I can. And just put that down there. And if you duplicate that, we're going to Control J again. I'll just fill in the middle space to do the font that I'm using by typing in by, as in 
second chance buy showdown, not the other type of buy. To just go ahead and center that up there. So now we want to change the um, layer styles of the text. So if you just go onto the second chance, right click blending options, and just go to color overlay, just make it a dark gray, a bit darker, darker feel. There we go, that's looking all right. And then you can just add an outer glow, maybe add a drop shadow, but then lower this distance to three, two maybe. There we go, two looks all right. And click OK, and that's looking good for the text. You can obviously add whatever effects you want, just play about with them. So I'm just going to right click and copy the layer style. So it'll copy all them things that we just made with the drop shadow and the color overlay. I'm just going to go on to the rest of the text for shine down and just paste it on. So paste layer style. Just do that. And there we go. We have some nice text and a second chance by showdown. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make that box just a little bit wider. Just like so. There we go. And if you have a look on here, you'll notice that it's got some headphones towards the left. So to do this, if we just make a new tab, um, type in headphones, or you can use whatever image you want, you don't even have to use an image, but I like to use these pink headphones there as a kind of square on. It does not matter what color they are or what size they are, it just matters about their shape, because we're going to transform it to black. So just control V, paste it in. And if we just get a magic wand tool, click on the white and delete. It will delete some of the white, but obviously not all of it. As you can see on the bot on the, the bottom here, bottom here. There we go. <laughs> so I'm joking, guys. Uh, go to the erase tool, the brush, and just start to erase under the bottom of it. Went all dodgy there. So when you record, your mouse all flickers, and it's really annoying when you're trying to get kind of precise there we go that'll do so just right click out to actual pixels again and if you go to edit free transform just drag it down here maybe hold shift stays in proportion again just a little bit smaller and just put these on the left like so so the tick button okay so we've got the basic headphones like the music's going to be playing uh, this can be. This is obviously used when um, a soundtrack comes onto the video. For example, if it changes song or it starts the song, you can just animate this so it comes on. So, right-click on that layer style, or, or double-click it, and just add a color overlay. Now, I just like to add a dark grey, and then just click OK, and that is it. So it just overlays what the image was to a dark grey, which gives it the dark grey feel, obviously. And then you can obviously always edit about with these settings here. I've tried a basic drop shadow. But that's coming along. That's the, that's the sort of thing that I'm looking for. So now I just want to go ahead and save it. So go File, Save As. I'm going to save it to the desktop. You need to save it as PNG. Uh, if you save it as the traditional JPEG, the uh, what's transparent will be white. And um, it's just a long. You, you, it, won't be, it won't work. It'll be white. Um, unless you cut mask around it or whatever or you could just save it as PNG so it's a lot easier so I'm just going to type in tag save none and on the Vegas file that I'm going to be using I'm going to go file new no and this is what it'll be so I'm just going to import my clips uh, go to my downloads folder 4 in one RPG drag that on, not going to have any colour correction uh, right click on the track, insert video track so insert space for the tag now we want to import that media again from the desktop and it called it tag so just drag that on there and you'll see that it just appears there and that is what we want what it to look like but we want it at the beginning to kind of come on from this, like enter the screen from the side so to do this, you want to go to the event panel and crop tools, and if you want to get the position, and you want to move the first keyframe, a few keyframes in, you can always edit it later. I'm going to move it to about here. But now you want to make sure this cursor, or the like, mouse over thing, is set to the first keyframe, and if you just hit whatever direction you want it to fade in from, for example, 
I'm going to do it from the left. Hold left on your keyboard until it goes off the screen. If you have a look just there, you'll see that it's about to go off the screen. Like, there we go, that's it. And it will just start to keyframe its way onto the video. Now you want to keep it, and then so it then fades off at the end. Without a solid fade, it just does the exact same process, but vice versa. So to do this, you just want to copy the first keyframe. Right click, copy. Uh, make sure it's just the first one selected, and paste it at the very end. And now copy and paste the second one that was in. Copy, and then paste that in. Equal distance, how far the first one was. Uh, I'll just drag it in a bit, there we go. And that is it, so if just go ahead and build a dynamic RAM preview for this. Uh, if it's too fast, too slow, for whatever reason, you can always change it. Uh, just by altering the keyframes, play it there. Second chance by sign, shine down. There you go, it comes onto the screen. So there, there we go, that's how to create a music tag using Photoshop. Or, uh, well, and Sony Vegas. No, you can use any sort of video editing program along with a um, graphics editing program and you can just create something like this. Uh, you could probably even do this on After Effects. Uh, I'm hesitant about whether you can do this solely on Sony Vegas. You probably could but it most likely wouldn't look very good and it would probably be longer in fact. But no, I always kind of drag it on at the end. You've got the basic gist and you follow the tutorial, so why are you still listening to me? Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please remember to like this video and uh, subscribe for more tutorials, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Goodbye.